Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a chameleon. Uh, the chameleon that I'm going to teach you how to draw is this guy right here. This is Charlie. He is uh, our pet chameleon here at home. And so I'm going to teach you how to draw this and after you finish drawing it you can color it whichever way you want. So whenever we're trying to draw something that's kind of got a lot of different parts to it and it's kind of complicated, it's always best to try to break it down into its smallest shapes and its simplest shapes. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw the body for Charlie and his body is going to be shaped like a half circle. Now remember whenever you're drawing something you always want to start off kind of lightly at first so that way if you make a mistake it's a lot easier to fix. So there's a big half circle right there in the middle of my page. Now I'm going to draw the head. And Charlie's head is kind of like a triangle shape. So I'm going to start over here on the right. And I'm going to go up. And instead of it being a pointed corner, I'm going to round that corner off. And now I'll go down like this. And then back to the half circle. Just like that. So there's his body, there's his head. Now I'm gonna go over to the left side and I'm gonna draw the tail. The tail is gonna be a spiral shape. So I'm gonna start right here at the corner of the half circle and I'm gonna go down and draw a spiral. Now I'm gonna go up a bit from there and draw the other side of the tail. And as I get toward the end, I want to get it smaller and smaller, closer and closer, just like that. Next, I need to work on the legs. I'm going to do two sides of a triangle like this for this leg, and then two sides of a triangle like this for this leg. Now, I'm going to go back in and draw the other side. And I can go ahead and erase this part of the bottom of the body. Now I'm going to have one foot over here. Notice that's kind of like a rectangle shape. Then I'm going to have toes that go off to the other side of a branch right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Now we're going to imagine that Charlie's sitting on a branch. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw a line right through here and then another line right through here and that's showing us that he's sitting on a branch maybe can add another little piece of a branch there now let's work on his head chameleons have really large eyes and so we're gonna draw a big circle here and then a little circle right inside and then a dot. Here's Charlie's mouth and there's his nostril for his nose. Now we need to start adding some details. I'm gonna go in and add the stripes that Charlie has on his eye and I'm gonna put some spots on his cheek and he's got a little ridge right here. Now he's a veiled chameleon, which means he's got this great big pointed bit at the top of his head. And I'm gonna add some spots up there too. Now we're gonna start putting in some of his decoration on his body. This is just a squiggly line that's gonna follow up with another squiggly line right there. And then I'm gonna add some more squiggly shapes like that. Now I can go ahead and add another little kind of outline around those shapes. I'm going to go ahead and erase this part of that half circle. And then I'm going to add some stripes to the tail.
Next, I'm going to go back in and add a few more spots between these squiggly shapes. Charlie's got little spikes that run right along the bottom of his uh, chin. And he's got spikes that run along his back. Now, once you're happy with how everything looks, then you can go ahead and darken things up a bit. If you want to trace it with markers or crayons, you can. That'll help that outline show up a bit better. Notice how I'm just kind of rounding off some of the sharp corners just to make it look a bit more real. But this can look as real or as uh, cartoonish as you want. And Charlie, he's mostly greens and browns and yellows, but when you color your chameleon, you can use whatever colors you want there. And yes, he can change colors, but he can't change much. It's going to be different shades of green, different shades of black and brown and yellow that he does. And there we go. Now our drawing is complete. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson and uh, be looking for more lessons very soon. Have a great day.